Okay, it's floor time again, so that means another pickup video. And this is a Saturday night. Again, and this is the other thing. There are times where you need to check your mail a bit more regularly because I've actually had some parcels sitting down here for several months. <laughs> months, <laughs> months. That's because you're not living here at the minute. So no, they were put aside and then forgotten about. So we have a, a most, some of these are imports and stuff. So first one we're going to do is actually an Xbox 360 game. Multi-platform, yeah. Ooh, it's, it's Xbox 360. It's your birthday present. <laughs> it was my birthday present. Forty nine P the Blitz game. It's what he spends on my birthday present. What a tight tight ass bastard. Well we got this. I haven't played it yet. I haven't had the time, but it's supposed to be NFL meets fighting and it's like awesome. That, it, that's just like an awesome combination. It's done by Midway. Didn't so they, didn't they do Mortal, Mortal Kombat? Kombat. <laughs> yeah, so back it, in the day. It might be good. So it's like a professional football game plus it's arcadey, so it should be a laugh. We, we are going to check it out I, just when I get a better chance to actually get round to testing some of these out. Yeah, we need to make a better way of filming, though. But, yep, we always say that, and we, we never do. We never do. So we're going to move on from that. We're going to go to a console, which I'm actually picking up a lot of games for at the minute. Okay. Where's PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3. Okay. Now, I'm kind of... Well, the rule... We're going to start with binary domain. Binary domain. Oh, I haven't got this for myself. I should have found that fairly cheap. Mm -hmm. um, I found it on eBay, it was like about £2, something posted. Oh, that's not bad. And because it had that beautiful blue Sega logo on it, I was like, you know what? Yep, from Sega. For the PS3, like published by Sega, I was like, you know what? It's a Sega PS3 title I didn't have. See, I know. It looks quite good, actually, yes. But I've never played it myself, so I don't know if it's good. I've not seen any reviews on it either. Oh, my PS3 is at my place, so I'm going to take these with me tomorrow, and I'm going to test them out during 15 the week. 15 rated as well, so... Oh, my camera's blurry. Okay. So that's that one. So and what's... then we've got... What's that? So the next one we've got is a game called Club. Club. Oh, this was... This looked good. <laughs> Back in the you... day, oh, this was so long ago. Was working at Game Station when this came out. I don't know... If it's supposed to be that good, it's a Sega one, isn't it? So it's yeah, it's exactly, you get the you get the the beautiful Sega logo on it, and it's like, yeah, I've got to show that one off uh, again. That was really cheap off eBay. That was like one forty nine or something posted. I was like, my god, this game is so old. I've forgotten about it, but I think that something like it was good, and then it came out, and it wasn't taken as well as everybody hoped it would be. So. I'm, I'm, again, I'll try it because it's a Sega logo game for the PS3, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of just debating whether to get a full power European set of Sega games for the PS3. It's plausible. It's doable, I reckon. But it's yeah, there isn't really anything apart from I think there's a Hatsune Miku game which is about twenty pound. There's nothing major there. I got a Hatsune Miku game cheap on PlayStation Three recently. And then we move on to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, this one was a cheaper one. This, this is £3.50. I was like, you know what, I'm going to grab it. Did I just see this on PlayStation 4 for a fiver on Games Collection today? No, that was Valkyria Revolution. All right. Because I had, there is a Valkyria Chronicles remastered on the PlayStation 4, which actually is only one of two Sega games I do not own for the PS4 in, from Europe. This one actually looks quite good if it would focus on here. and um... So it is... Kind of is on my list to do uh, to to play at some point. But Three, again, 350 from CX at the minute. This one, yeah, and it came with the stuff. So I was like, oh, I'll just grab it for three. Grab it for three fifty. I don't care. It was just one of those. No, for it. Another reason why CX is actually quite good here in the UK. So it's, yeah, it's good for certain things. PlayStation free games, and last but not least, was another birthday present. Type. Oh yes, type fifty bastard that spent another fifty p. So he got ninety nine p. For this. I, I got 99p <laughs> worth of games for my birthday present. <laughs> Thank you very much. And this is obviously Beijing 2008. It's not a game of any interest in playing. But it is a Sega published game. And at 50p, it was just like, you know what? You I was, was going to buy it. And then you well, you grabbed it and said, no, I'll get it for you. It's your birthday present. Yeah, because right. I'm a generous chappy. Oh, no, right. I'm I'm that here. You are so kind. Thank you. That's because I'm not supportive. So we're going to move Champions on to this console. I haven't really picked much up for lately. That's the original Xbox. But... Star Wars Obi-Wan. All right, Star Wars Obi-Wan from Cash Gen. 
three pound fifteen. I was actually on my way to uh, the bus stop, and I was saw that, and I was like, do you know what? I, I didn't. Get that. I, I thought you got backwards compatible with the Xbox One. I believe. I didn't. Did you not have this in that big box over there? No, I didn't. I didn't have many any Star Wars games really. I've got. Oh, right. That's a lie. I've got the one. What was it Republic Commander? Was the only one that was in there? Oh no, and um. I think I've got this one myself, but. Uh, Revenge of uh, the Sith one. Uh, Star Wars. No, Star Wars. Oh, what's it? Knights of the Old Republic. Sorry, that was the one. Cool. This is <laughs> obviously quite I old had. Xbox game. So, yeah, but Xbox One backwards compatible, so that's good. Put so we're going to download gonna, it for you. We're going to move on to a system I do not collect for, really. But this was buy one, get one free. So they worked out at basically 80 pH. We're going to start off with GoldenEye 007. Oh, oh yeah. This now, I got that because basically it was the free game. And it was the best that was there. It was actually at a charity shop. And they were yeah. like, no, it's buy one. Go grab another one. And I was like, I'll grab that because it's the best of Best of what left. was left. Oh, and well, it's, it was. It could have been good. But again, they messed up on this game. So right. Wasn't it Activision that did that? Yeah. And oh, that something was shit on Something own. was shit. <laughs> yeah. It's well, not quite Phoenix bad, but it's still shit. I don't know. If you haven't seen the Phoenix video, check on the um, videos list and watch it. You're in for a terrible treat. <laughs> okay. Now, the reason I did get that, though, was because of this. Aha, uh -huh, Mad World. Now, this game's been going up and down in price since it was as little as 20p. <coughs> well, I considered it, basically, when you brought it, broke it down, it was like 80p and yeah. GoldenEye 80p. And I was like, you know what? Um, this game I've kind of wanted to check out. I've just... It's just never met the criteria of, you know, box being in good condition, yeah. manual being there, disc being in good condition, being at a good price. This was one of the first ones to do this black and white uh, drawn comic book style, I think. And this was one of the reasons why Sega said, well, you know what, we're not making any adult games, because it's actually considered to be a really good game. Yeah. But sold pretty poorly. Yeah. So, um, I reckon Bowie has got some classics in the making. And right now they're just sitting on the shelf for nothing. I think there are a few that are quite. Expensive. And everybody's overlooking the system. And one day, just one day, you'll be going around on eBay thinking, "Shit, I saw that game for twenty p," when it's like two hundred pound. <laughs> okay. I'm mad well, I, mean, I don't yeah. think this will ever be worth two hundred, but you know. I don't think it'll be worth a lot, but it was. I wanted it because it was a Sega title, <laughs> and I was like, "That's cool." Right, what have we got next? We've got some Japanese imports. All Japanese imports. So, wow, we're going back in time to retro. We've got to go back, Marley. Sega Saturn is one of my favourite consoles. I absolutely love this oh, console. Oh, Gale Racer or Radmobile. I have played that. I, I spent a good good hour or so playing it. And I actually got to say, it's not as good as something like um, Sega Rally. Yeah. But it's quite cheap and it is quite a lot of fun. I don't think pay a lot for it. Maybe eight or nine pound places from Japan. Yeah. Um, there are some, if you look around, you can find some set of some stuff good. It was fairly cheap, and I was like, I would have found it cheaper if I found it in Japan cheaper. I know if I found it in Japan, it would have been cheaper, but obviously, you don't have that luxury going to Japan on a regular basis. Well, I'm, I don't anyway. I'm not sure this is actually Redmobile. Maybe it was part two of Redmobile Gale Race. It could have been, um, but I saw it on a, without uh, checking. I saw it on an Alpha Omega Sim video years and years ago, and he said it was pretty good fun. And I thought, you know what, it's cheap enough, I'll check it out. And then I did, and I was like, actually, yeah, it is quite fun. It's quite, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> if, you, if you want to see, check the um, Strange Xbox video, Tales from the Shed. And if you look around near the end of the film, you'll see what I've got. She got a Radmobile arcade machine sitting there in the shed. I'm just hoping it still works because I haven't tested it for about a year. But yeah, that's a, that's a nice little game for the Saturn. Another one for the Sega Saturn. It's just a classic, really. Space oh, Invaders. Space Invaders. Yeah. Do you know what? That's, it's, not, I want, it's not expensive by any means. You know, it was like about £10 posted. I haven't got this. <laughs> I should get I, this. I, I wanted to get that. It wasn't bad. The game that started it all back in 71, one of the actual first games that actually got me interested in video <laughs> games. It was. Which I played when I couldn't even reach the joysticks on the machine. Or in that way, the white buttons. What's left and right? <laughs> Look at them. Space Invaders. They never had names, I don't think. Um, but they're really cool. Um, it is quite fun. Um, I'm not very good at it again. I haven't spent as long as I wanted to on it. I spent about half an hour playing it. Mm -hmm. um, but the next one, you can get it in Europe. There is a European version of it. And it is called Last Gladiators. 
That's good, yeah, it's good. I can't remember. Pinball, yeah. It's yeah, it's basically done. There is a Japanese game called Necronomicon. Oh yeah, Necronomicon. And that is it, done by the same guys, I believe. I um, think somewhere on the list we've got a Necronomicon. I've got Necronomicon. Play. Yeah. It's yeah, there's there's a video of it somewhere on the videos, but it's on the back end of a as <coughs> Dreamcast, a Saturn Pixin video. What I did. It was. Oh, there you go. It's funny. It's really. Oh, I, mean, I really enjoyed that game. It's it's not an expensive game even here, but I was I mixed it up with a few things to make it worthwhile. It was released here, but I don't remember if it was just called Digital Pinball or Last Gladiators or what it was called here. Unfortunately, no spine card on it, but none of the same games I there, but go still. through modern stuff. Modern stuff coming up. We'll do the Xbox One. Yeah, go on the Xbox One, we'll do. The only Xbox One game we've got in this video. Ah, uh, Shemu 2. 1 and 2, actually. It is 1 and 2, and it's still sealed, because... <sighs> Alright. I think you've got this on PlayStation 4, haven't you? Of course I've got it on the PlayStation 4. I yes. actually have the Japanese version as well on the PlayStation 4, the limited edition one with the CD soundtrack. Yeah. Why did I buy the Xbox One version? Well, I'll tell you why. Okay, I have, right, when I buy for the Xbox One, I have, games have to fall into three categories. One, is it an exclusive? Yes, fine. Yeah. Two, does it have extra content on? For instance, um, I think it's Saint Row the Fourth. Yeah. Or the Fourth Saint Row game, whatever it's called, I can't remember, Saint Row 4. Where they've got, the Xbox One version has Get Out of Hell on the disc. All right, yeah. Whereas the PlayStation 4 version is a download code for Get Out of Hell. I'd rather have it on the disc. Yeah, definitely. Three, is it cheaper than buying it on the PlayStation 4? And I don't mean by just a couple of quid. I mean, is it considerably cheaper? Like, one that we've okay. got to do so with a video, which you're going to see, it was consi it was like half the price. Exactly. Um, which we'll get around to doing at some point. Well, this didn't fall into any categories. It fell into the category, is it Shenmue? Yes, you're going to buy it. Yes, so Shenmue on the now, recent... I, the Xbox I, One I've never played recently. that game. That will just be on my go within the Shenmue collection. And the reason being, the Xbox One has something called Game Pass. Shenmue 1 and 2 is currently on Game Pass. Yeah. I have done all the achievements possible in Shenmue 1, and the ones left to do in Shenmue 2, I think I've got four left, or five. Four or five. I know one of them's not story based. Which is to play the four arcade machines. I'm not up to the point to be able to play the fourth one yet. And all the rest are all story based. Apart from See the Flowers, you've got to go see the flowers. Mm. But hey ho, whatever way you talk about it, it's like I've pretty much done it. And actually, I prefer to playing it on the PlayStation 4 mm. over the Xbox One. I was like, we haven't got much Meg left on the camera. So that is just so, a shelf filler. Yeah. We're going to rush through. Rush through um, to one, the last one. We've got 500 one. Meg left. This is Retro Grandad's <coughs> one. I found it in a charity shop. Yeah, Fallout so, 4. Um, um, it's worth for two ninety nine was on there. Yeah, two ninety nine. Um, I haven't got this game, so it's worth picking up for two ninety nine. Yeah, I found yeah. that for him in a charity I shop. I did play on PC. Didn't hundred percent love it, but it was all right. <laughs> right. So the last two were pre orders that have just come out, and people are going to go, "Why did you buy those?" We'll start off with Super Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Oh. Super Monkey Ball. Well, now we see we could have played this today, but instead we done the stupid hamster something. Yeah, hamster hamtero video crap. Now, well, even Hamtero. That's the reason why. Yeah, Sega again for the collection. It's and it's not a bad game actually. It's no, I love this Monkey Ball. Yeah. I loved it on the GameCube. Yeah. Right, and the last one is. Oh, aha! Lion King and Aladdin. Now, here's the thing. I'm not bothered about the Lion King. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because basically, at the time it was made. Um, Capcom had the rights to do Disney games for Nintendo consoles and Sega and there's a whole story about it how Sega was supposed to be doing the right to be doing Aladdin mm -hmm. um, and it kind of got messed up and long cutting the story really short it was the development time on the game was actually really short um, and it's the one where they can you know, people compared to some people prefer the Super Nintendo, some people prefer the Mega Drive. I played the Mega Drive a lot more. I do prefer the Mega Drive. Yeah. 
<coughs> but it's one because I can't be bothered to hook up all my old systems. Yeah. I was like, I'll get that, I'll have a remake of it, it'll be fine, I'll play it on my PlayStation 4. It's a good kind of double tap. So what do we have? So we've got the Lion King, Monkey Ball, what out four? Shemu. Obviously Shemu, Shemu, anyone who follows your channel has watched it. Uh, Last Gladiators, Space Invaders, Gale Racer, Mad World, and what else we got? Golden, uh, Golden Eye 007. Golden Eye 007. Uh, Obi Wan, Star Wars, and Beijing. Yeah. Valkyria Chronicles. Um, Blitz. The League. And then club, and last but not least, binary domain. Binary domain. Now I have to be honest. Here's a picture of a video. What was that The Saturn games have been sitting around for ages. Um, and I just kept forgetting about them. Shenmue one and two have been sitting around for ages. The club has binary domain has. Obviously, a few of them are just random. Monkey oh. balls, brand new. So it's a yeah, Monkey King today. Ball, I just literally picked up today. Um, so. And, um, fall out yesterday. Oh. Fall out, yeah. Fall out. No, no. Or day no, before. Oh, something like that. Yeah. It? it was just one of those because I've already got it. Yeah. I was just like, look, dude, it's two ninety nine. Do you want me to pick it up for you? So what's like, that? Last week's worth, would you say? Somebody's been sitting here for months. But the yeah. Saturn games have been here for months. Mad yeah. World I brought months ago. Golden I brought months ago. It's just stuff that we forget about. Yeah. I, I've got <laughs> loads of stuff from the summer, but I just haven't got around to making my video. Oh, there is going to be um, a big Xbox pickup video, which will be... I will film and I will give it to you, so it's just going to be me rambling on for sh about shit for ages. Right, we're going to have to wrap it up here. We've got 90 meg, so... All right, well, it's been a pleasure as always. You've got a few videos, and we will speak to you all soon. Yeah, and see you all again. Thanks for watching this, and we'll see you again, as always, on the next one. Right, bye for now. Laters. Laters. Laters.